If y'all wondering what's going on with the setup right now, my parents thought I was being way too loud with the other videos. They told me to go out and get a job. I said, I can't work, I don't know how to read. They said, true that. So they bought me a box instead to, to, to freaking make my videos in because I was being way too freaking loud. Get right into this though, Le'Veon Bell not showing up to Steelers camp, not showing up to any practices with the Steelers, didn't show up to any of the team meetings. It's looking like he's not even going to start the season. And that's why I picked up James Conner off the waiver wire. You have not done that yet. Go do that now. James Conner off the waiver wire. I somehow swooped him up before everybody else did, and now he's projected to be my top running back. Freaking amazing. I mean, I, I just got I just got some like crazy mind powers. I knew that was going to happen. Not really. I just dumped LeGarrette Blunt, so I didn't have to really take a risk. If I had to dump anybody else, I wouldn't have freaking done it, but since I can dump LeGarrette Blunt, I did. But anyway, James Conner, for the time being, I don't know if it's 100% at, it's at true. I don't know if that's fake news. James Conner is getting the start for the Pittsburgh Steelers week one against the Cleveland Browns. So let's get right into this. It, of, of why this, it, why Le'Veon is doing this. So Le'Veon rejected, what was it last year? I think it was Le'Veon rejected a five-year a contract extension from the Pittsburgh Steelers includes 30 million over the first two years. So wait, so that's 60, not the 42. So that's 102. What the freaking? So 42 plus. It's like a hundred million dollars. I told you so I can't go out and get a job. So Le'Veon making a buttload of money from that five-year extension, but he said he pulled the Kirk Cousins and said, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm betting on myself. He's trying to get more. He's trying to get Todd Gurley money. It's not going to happen, and the Steelers aren't going to do it because they got to go out and they got to pay Antonio Brown. They got to go out and pay Ben Roethlisberger. They got to pay everybody else, and especially since you have a good backup running back in James Conner, the Pittsburgh Steelers aren't holding their breath, and that's what Le'Veon is, is, is hoping the Steelers do, is they hold their breath so long that they give him this max contract offer. Boy, you best believe that they're breathing fine, and you're trying to get them scared so they give you this money. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry, Le'Veon, especially with a guy like James in that backfield with Ben Roethlisberger. They've been praising this guy before Le'Veon even all this stuff was starting to happen. Last year, James Conner was getting a lot more touches. And now this year, they were praising him at camp before Le'Veon pulled this crap. And now that Le'Veon's pulling this and his agent is saying he might miss two months, he might miss the first eight games of the season, he's trying to save his value. This is not saving your value, Le'Veon. This is making people want to stay away even more you're like a crazy girlfriend no one's going after you nobody wants that crap nobody wants that drama they're good why am i spitting so much so all he's doing is hurting his value i feel like this is going to screw him over in the long run even in the short term he's not going to get his his payday money because he's not going to be playing this is what i think is going to happen right Le'Veon's going to finally say oh my gosh they don't want me back He's playing hard to get, but the thing is though, they don't, the Steelers don't care. That's the thing. Girl that's playing hard to get, but in this case, the guy doesn't give a crap. The guy's like, um, I got three more girls over here, dude. We, I don't need you. That's what the Steelers are doing to Le'Veon. And I'm not trying to diss on Le'Veon saying he's not that good. Uh, they shouldn't bring him back, blah, blah, blah. Again, you guys can find a, re a reasonable contract, then fine. Come back to Pittsburgh. They want you. You're a great running back. You are probably one of the best. You are one of the best running backs right now. But it's not worth the money, the drama that you're giving everybody. They need to focus on the season right now. And if you're going to act all immature, not wanting to play because you want, you want. It's all, at this point, it's pride. At this point, it's I want to be the highest paid RB of all time. I want to go, I want to surpass Todd Gurley. That is what it's turning into for Le'Veon. It's all pride. It's all ego. So the Steelers are like, we don't want to mess with that. We got James Conner behind Ben Roethlisberger. He's going to turn into the next you. And let me know what you think. Let me know what the Pittsburgh Steelers should do. Should they bite? the bullet and give him the whole bank account should they give him their whole bank account should they let this thing linger and freaking simmer until until they either trade him or he comes to his senses and says oh crap i'm not he looks at his bank account sees how sees how dry it is it's like a freaking desert and he's like oh shoot let me sign a contract with y'all maybe maybe we could do 20 million over three years you know what i mean that's why i feel like it's gonna come to all this drama for nothing he's just gonna sign an average contract and not an average i mean that's a little bit above average i'm, I'm, I'm acting like that like nothing like oh 22 million that's nothing but that's something that's good let me know what y'all think about this and i can't believe i got james connor my fantasy team bro let's go